Why are they just standing around? What just happened? What just happened? Wait, what did the rest just say? Was that even English? Why is it touchdown only six points? Gypsy! Gypsy! Is that Peyton Manning? Is that Tom Brady? Wait, no, it's Peyton Manning. No way, it's Deshaun Jackson. Ugh, I'm so bored. Isn't that the sign for traveling? Why are they kicking away the ball? Ugh, yes, commercials! First down, wasn't it just third? Look, isn't her baby so cute? Isn't that cute? What's up? How you doing? It's here guys. Football season is upon us. Ladies, say goodbye to your husbands and boyfriends undivided attention for the next six months. Just kidding, but really. Here's my stance on football. I am neutral about it. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I'm just like, meh. Don't get me wrong, I love sports. I really do. I just rather play it than watch it. I just would rather watch other things than a football game. And that's just the truth. I know there's so many girls out there who are like diehard fans of football, and I think that's awesome, but that's just not me. I think a big part of why I'm not like a huge, huge fan of football is because Hawaii doesn't have a football team. So I never grew up cheering for one certain team or having like my home team. I think that has a lot to do with it. Now the dilemma is my husband is extremely into football. He's a diehard Seahawks fan because he's from Seattle. Even if the Seahawks aren't playing, he just likes watching whatever football game is on TV. So he loves football season, loves, loves, loves of it. So of course there's a diehard football fan and then there's me. But this season, I decided to be a good wife and try my best to get into the football spirit. Because Connor is a big Seahawks fan, naturally, I have become a Seahawks fan as well. But don't get me wrong, I'm not one of those girls who become super obsessed about a football team just because it's their husband's favorite team. I'm not, okay? I'm totally not. Just kidding, I totally am. So in honor of my newfound sprouting love for football, I decided to share some really simple DIY projects you can do to get excited for football. Nobody wants to be the girl you watch football with who keeps asking questions and doesn't know what's going on. What just happened? What just happened? Wait, what did the rest just say? And tries to distract everybody. No one wants to be that girl and no one wants to be around that girl. So hopefully these DIY projects will help you not be that girl and get you excited and engaged in football. So let's just jump right to it. Here's a really simple way to make a custom tee for whatever team you're rooting for. First off, start with a blank tee. Then take a piece of printer paper, fold it in half, and draw half a heart. Once you cut that out, take the stencil and spray one side of it with adhesive. Make sure you do this outside because that stuff gets everywhere. Stick the stencil in the middle of the shirt and secure it in place. Then take some paint, I chose green for the Seahawks, and a stencil brush. Oh, and don't forget to place a piece of newspaper inside your shirt so it doesn't bleed through and apply that paint all over. Once it's dry enough, peel off the stencil. Now look at that good looking heart. Next, take some black paint and paint on the number of your favorite player. I decided to paint on a 12 for the Seahawks 12th man. And bam, you're done. Make a small football shape out of paper and trace that using a white crayon on a piece of cork board. You can do as many as you want. Cut those out. Then take some brown acrylic paint and smother that all over. Once they're dry, take some white paint and paint on the football markings. Now once you've let that dry, take some handy dandy Mod Podge and apply it all over the coasters. This is to seal the paint so it's waterproof. Don't worry, it dries clear. So hey Samson. Now you can't have football coasters without something to put on it. Take a mason jar and measure out a piece of white electrical tape lengthwise. 
Then cut the tape in half so it's thinner. Apply that to the mason jar. Then apply four more pieces of shorter tape across. These are so fast and so easy to make. Pour in some Coke or Dr. Pepper to give that football illusion. Oops, went a little too crazy there. Oh my gosh, you guys have to try these because they're so good and so easy to make. You literally only need five ingredients. Okay, first you need a flour burrito tortilla and an empty can. I use this mandarin orange one. And using the can, cut out mini circles out of the tortilla and place them into a greased cupcake pan. Go ahead and do that until your pan is filled. Then, put a tablespoon of pizza sauce into each mini pizza. Sprinkle in as much mozzarella cheese as you want, as well as Parmesan. Then, place three to four of these cute little mini pepperonis onto each pizza. Pop them into a preheated oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. And voila! If you want, garnish them with cilantro or parsley. I use cilantro. They come out of the pan really easy if you greased it well, so that's way nice. And you've got mini pizzas! These are like a thousand percent better than any store-brought frozen ones, I promise. Melt three tablespoons of butter into a large pot at the lowest heat setting. Once that's melted, add an entire package of marshmallows into the pot and stir them until they're melted too. This may take a little patience. Once everything is melted, turn off the heat and add a half cup of peanut butter and mix it well. Then add six cups of Cocoa Rice Krispies and stir that all together. Once everything is mixed, butter your hands so that nothing will stick to you and form small football-shaped Rice Krispie treats. Okay, pause. Do not get this Wilton icing writer I'm showing you. Get the Wilton cookie icing and you'll see why in a sec. And this is the moment I realized I got the wrong type of icing because it was too thin and watery and literally seeped right into the treat. Yep. Fail. So I decided to just drizzle the icing on instead. Hence why I call these Rice Krispie Treat footballs with quotations because I totally messed up. Oh well, they still tasted amazing. This is something that will help you be engaged in a football game. Print out these game day bingo sheets. I'll put the link to them in the description box. And instead of numbers in the boxes, you have things you see in a football game. Every time something happens that's on your card, place a piece of candy on it till you've got bingo. have it those are my super simple DIY projects to get yourself excited about football I had a lot of fun putting this video together so I hope you guys really liked it give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for the football season also give it a thumbs up if you're neutral about the football season and also give it a thumbs up if you hate football season have a great week guys and we'll see you next Wednesday bye hi Simpson hi Simpson can they even see through those helmets <laughs> But why is he running there? Why did he just fall to the ground? Why didn't he just keep running? Like, why did he have to drop it? It's not that hard to catch a ball. Woo! Woo! What just happened? A unicorn around the field. Oh. That guy has super cute shoes. Is the game over yet? Just the second quarter. Seriously?